el 8, no sé, con los pibas siempre decimos que es nuestra Navidad. Es apropiarnos de la calle, apropiarnos de todo lo que nos robaron una vez por año, todas juntas. Aunque la hagamos todos los días, lo intentamos hacer. Hoy es el día que lo hacemos con más fuerza y con más ganas, con más glitter, con más violeta, con todo. Y lo hacemos inmenso, inmenso, inmenso. inmenso. share with you some thoughts about the current situation. Uh, when I uh, began my, my class, uh, my gender studies and design class in the University of Buenos Aires, uh, in the first class I always share with my students, my 200 uh, students, how I felt 15 years ago when I talked about feminism uh, and design in my school. Uh, the majority of my colleagues and also the students uh, were staring at me uh, as if I go going to infect them with some disease, uh, some strange disease. Uh, gender perspective was odd and also dangerous inside the architecture and design school. Uh, I always use the term in fact because its results uh, useful to invite them to think about what is considered abnormal or dangerous. Because as we know the idea of normal, abnormal, or sane and insane change uh, and is con culturally uh, constructed. So um, now, in this context, when the virus is a material and concrete issue and not only a good metaphor, I think it's a good opportunity to think from a gender and intersectional perspective what are we doing when we design, for whom we are designing and what for. If I have to think in some uh, design projects uh, that recently came to me, inspired to me, or also annoy me, uh, so, um, I have to think in, in well in this context of pandemic. I came from a country that have a lot of inequalities. It's a country with a lot of material and social culture inequalities in the society. So um, this pandemic context show in the worst uh, manner these inequalities. And uh, for example, um, I believe uh, this context brings back the idea that bodies can be regulated and organized in the space, in public space, and not all the citizens are welcome in public space. 
some citizens are um, more welcome than others. So uh, we have in public space uh, uh, as a very contemporary uh, design project, we, we find uh, some uh, graphic and objectual designs uh, interventions for guarantee the physical distance and I think uh, it's important to talk about it because in the first place I think of course fascina is fascinated to analyze uh, these uh, graphic signs in the public space, how dealing with graphic design in the public space to distribute and organize the, the bodies. But also I find this very disturbing because, uh, well, when surveillance between bodies increases, the, I think it's never a good news, uh, especially because we already know that not all bodies are the same. I think the relevance of this award and the gender perspective uh, is very important to, to think design nowadays because, uh, for example, in this context, if we think about public space, well, it's a challenge for the designers to think what, what is public space. And uh, I think it's essential to think design as a tool for access to citizenship because public space, uh, being in public, in public space is not the same to access to citizenship. So uh, when we talk about citizenship, we are necessarily defining a limit, a border that defines what citizenship is. Uh, which people are enabled, who are visible, which bodies are visible in the public space, which categories we use for design. I think this is very important to think uh, from the designer's perspective. So uh, it's necessary to, to think uh, who are inside and who are outside for our categories when we design because design can be a transformative force but we know that also design and design system can also reaffirm and fix an exclusive and selective system. Parece que algo brilla. Será el poema sobre una cinta de fuego camino a su encuentro, atropellada, selectiva, blanda, inocente, despiadada. Tengo sentimientos súper encontrados, de, como de mucha, de mucha impotencia, de mucho miedo también, pero a su vez como, como de muchas ganas de, de seguir saliendo a la calle, de seguir haciendo entre nosotras, de seguir juntándonos y como acá tengo más seguridad de que, de que por acá. Somos los que resistimos contra la depredación extractivista. Somos los líderes que resisten la persecución del asesinato en Colombia. Somos los que somos la persecución del asesinato en Colombia. Somos los que somos la persecución del asesinato en Colombia.